Hey good people, welcome back to Beauty and the Frizz. <laughs> I'm already laughing <laughs> at this video. <laughs> Oh I'm not able to do it with a straight face, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right, let's just try this. I'm gonna try it. Hey, good people. Welcome back to Beauty and the Frizz. My name is Kara. <laughs> if you're new here, I usually do a live on Tuesday. I'll get into why it's not live in a second. It is day 15 of Frizzmas, and the reason why my video is not live is because we are all a little bit under the weather at my house we're not going to speak about anything negative we have a little cold just a little sniffle sniffle and i've had the boys with me mm, yeah so i am assuming that i'm not going to be able to do my live lunch bunch because they'll be here anyway you clicked on the video so if you want to see about this foolishness, keep on watching. Don't forget to leave me some comments and definitely consider subscribing and joining the community because I'd love to have you back. All right, let's get started. So first of all, I want to just talk about how my mail has really been held up. Give Me Glow sent a shipping confirmation pretty early on, like, you know, after I ordered my palettes and um it just got here this morning so i think i placed the order on the 27th or the 29th that friday and it is december 14th so yeah my stuff was like stuck in baltimore for like a whole week but it came this morning so you know i was really 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 excited to get my palettes because I have been tracking them and saw that they were in Baltimore and I was just like, okay. And then on Saturday I saw that like, you know, it finally moved from the distribution center. So I was like, yes, I'm gonna have my stuff, blah, blah, blah. And I only bought two palettes, but I was really excited about these two palettes. So imagine my surprise after watching Karen Harris's video that I received an empty palette too. I was like, me too? Like, I, was, I could not believe it. I thought like maybe I was seeing it wrong, but I wasn't. So my plan was to, you know, just talk about both palettes and maybe use them, but we'll just be doing one today. Um, so yes, here is my empty Vivid Rose palette. Now I'm not mad, you know what I'm saying? Like stuff happens and you know, it's disappointing, but you know, you gotta give people some grace. It's a lot going on. I'm disappointed because, you know, I have been waiting. I feel like I was waiting like a whole extra week. And then, so I was just so happy to have the palette and I just didn't think that this was gonna happen to me, but it did. I did email Give Me Glow this morning. I haven't received a response yet, but I will keep y'all posted. I'm certain that they will send me a replacement and then I could use this to put some of my give me glow shadows in I guess I don't have enough this isn't enough to put all my shadows in but we'll work it out it'll all work out what I do have to share with you though and it had all the shades in it is the Christmas morning palette which I'm really excited about having as well so we're just gonna swatch this and do a look because I don't have anything else. All right, so here is the Christmas morning palette. Now, I believe this palette was released last year. You know, I didn't know anything about Gimme Glow at that time when it was released, or a lot of makeup. But I just thought this was like a beautiful, beautiful color story. And here it is. And this was on sale for like $24.50. So I was happy to get my hands on it. And I believe that they now have, and I don't know if it's sold out or not, I have to check, but they have a Christmas morning box uh, where they have the palette and I believe some lip glosses. It's like a limited edition box to go with it. So in case you're interested in that, you can check the Gimme Glow website. But yeah, I'm excited for this. So we're gonna go ahead and get right into the swatches and a look, and um, that's gonna be that. Can y'all believe I got that empty palette though? <gasps> Give me no. So let's just go through these. So these are eight shades. The pan sizes are ginormous. So I believe this palette will last me many a Christmas morning. Ooh, this looks, ooh, this is pretty. Mm. Okay. So first we have the shade Gifts Galore. Make sure I'm not. Oh, okay. 
This kind of reminds me of like Scarab from Tiny Marbles. You know that brown, uh, that brown blue shade? This is really, really potent. Yes, it is. Milk and Cookies, so that's a matte. Stocking Stuffers, ooh. Oh, that's so pretty. Mm. Next shade is Chimney. And going to the next row, we have Under the Tree. Pajamas, or pajamas, depending on where you're from. Cozy Fire, oh, pajamas is coming off. The pajamas are coming off. And last but not least, we have Santa's Sleigh. Ooh, and there you have Christmas morning. I think this color story is really gorgeous and I don't know, it definitely embodies a holiday palette to me. Still wish I had my Vivid Rose. I was gonna swatch it on this arm. Um, one thing I noticed, oh, back up just a taste. So I noticed about uh, the Give Me Glow mattes now that I've had a little bit of experience with the brand. I don't know if they're patchy. They just feel different. It's not like a, I mean, I'm not saying I'm expecting it to be, but it's not like a lot of the mattes I have um, in my collection. So I know when I was using these mattes before, I feel like these mattes may also be a pat in type situation, a pat it in and then blend, you know, technique that you may have to use. I'm gonna try it because this is my first impression with this palette, but the mattes feel the same as my Give Me Glow singles, as well as the mattes in the Vintage Rose palette. So I think they're gonna work the same way. Okay, well, I guess we should go ahead and get into a couple looks. Let's go ahead with one on each eye. Just feel like it's easier. Does that bother y'all, like one on each eye? I know some people are like OCD and they're like, no, I need to see the complete look, but I don't really have the complete time. So one on each eye just gives me a little bit more you know, idea about what you can do with the palette. It, it helps me out a little bit. I don't know if it helps y'all. I may or may not have time to come back around and do another video. You know, I'll wear it again, but I don't know if I'll have a, a chance to do another video. So I might though. Let's just get started. It would be kind of cool to use all of the shades though. That would be nice. I'm trying to think about how I want to do this. So yeah, I think I'm going to divide these into two quads. So I'm going to do one look with this quad first and then one look with this quad. And then, you know, we can think about how we can mix and match these, but let's just do that first. So we'll have kind of a green story and we'll have a red story. Going into the shade Milk and Cookies, that'll be my transition for the first look. And this is working fine, but I just think I like padding these in first, which is what I do anyway. Taking this shade under the tree, that's gonna be my outer corner slash crease shade. Yeah, they just don't feel smooth. I feel like they're blending out just fine, but they don't feel smooth, but it's working out. All right, I think I'm just gonna leave it like that. Just a subtle little bit of green. Now I'm gonna take the shade Gifts Galore and I'm going to put that like over here on the lid. So yeah, one thing I noticed when I was swatching them and maybe I put too much on the my finger for the swatch is that, you know, they can kind of flake off. I noticed that with the pajama shade. So just be careful or use, you know, a wet brush or wet your finger or whatever because I have a little bit on my face, but that's fine. I'm not really concerned about that. But this is a really pretty shade. All right, and last, I'm gonna take the shade Pajamas, and I'll put that on the first part of my lid. Okay, so here's what we have. And then let's just do uh, the under eye. I don't know, maybe I won't make it a quad. I wanna take Cozy Fire and I wanna put that on my under eye. As I said, I do have a little bit of fallout on my face. I'm just hoping it can be brushed away. Okay, and lastly, I'm gonna take 
Santa's sleigh right here and use that as the inner corner highlight. All right, so this is look number one. Let me know what y'all think. I think it looks pretty, it's pretty and quick. Moving on to look number two. I'm gonna start off with the shade Cozy Fire. We'll see how this does for a transition to shade. Yeah, so I'm thinking like if you know how to work with these mattes, they'll be fine. But I think my first impression when I was using the um, the Vintage Rose palette, which I don't think, I had it on in a video, but I didn't record myself, um, I didn't record the look. It was just something I noticed about the mattes, but they're working fine. Hey, Aug, what's up? Oh, go potty. I, you didn't need to do that. Now that was unnecessary. I'm ready for my bed. Oh my God, are you okay? Yeah. Oh, wow. I had to teach my kids and kind of be their teachers today. It was rough, rough, y'all. All right, so this is gonna be nice and Christmassy. Now we're gonna take the shade Chimney and Chimney is gonna go on the outer corner. I'll be right back, I'll be right there. As Olivia Pope would say, it's handled. Okay, well, let's get back into it. All right, I'm done with this shade. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and use the shade Santa Slay, and I'm gonna put that all over the lid. And you got trash, buddy. I don't know if y'all heard me. I'm gonna put Santa Slay all over the lid. Let me try my finger really quick, real quick. Let's see something. And I'm just going to add a little more of the chimney shade on the outer corner just to kind of blur this line a little bit. And again, there's just a little bit of fallout from the shimmer shade. Can I be in the video because I have clothes? Mm -hmm, you can be in it. Come quickly, because this is not a family thing. You can go say hi though. I don't know where your headphones are. Now we're gonna go to the under eye. I wanna use the shade Stocking Stuffers, which is this one right here. And then let me see. Let's, let me see about putting pajamas on for the inner corner highlight. Let's see if it's too dark. So I did that the other day and I was like, mm. not with this obviously, but with, an, with another video I had and I was like, I don't like that inner corner. I'm more so using it to tie the top and bottom together. I guess that's what an inner corner does. Okay, so these are the two looks. I felt like they were easy enough to create and I think they look cute. Okay, so I am going to do liner lashes and mascara not in that order off camera i'll be back with the final look and the final thoughts but i think you know what they are all right you guys i am back with the final look oh i took my headband off first so anyway i'm back with the final look so let's just close in on them and i like them i think they are gorgeous they're very holiday and christmasy yeah i like them i don't really have anything bad to say um, I do have a little bit of fallout, but it's nothing crazy. So final thoughts, I'm glad to have the palette. I was gonna say palettes. I'm glad to have the palette. I like the Christmas morning palette. I think it's beautiful. I think it's gorgeous. I'm glad to add it to my collection. You know, I guess when you put makeup on, it's like, I love the final look. I love the final look. So I don't even wanna sound like I'm down in the palette at all. But um, no, not but, because when you say but, that means you're gonna say something bad. Okay. What I'm saying is, is that when I put my makeup on, I guess it's the experience of it too. So I don't necessarily like the way that the shadows feel while I'm putting them on. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. I love the look I came out with and I'm glad I have the palette. And like aesthetically, this is 
so beautiful. And you know, in theory, this is so beautiful too. I mean, cause I know y'all seen what the palette looks like. It's gorgeous, it's gorgeous. And I love the, the outer cover. I mean, this is something that I would display. I would display this and the um, vintage rose one. I would display these, I think they're gorgeous. But as far as the experience I have while I'm putting it on, I don't have that like, ooh, ooh, you know how I be sometimes like on these videos, I be like, <laughs> I make all kinds of comments like when I'm putting on my eyeshadows and stuff like that. I don't have that with this. And I think that's the only thing that's missing for me. So like, like I said, do I like it? Yes, am I glad to have it? Yes. Am I glad I got it on sale? Yes, yes, yes. I'm glad I got this one on sale for 24. I don't know the original price, I can't remember, but you know, I can make it work for the $24, $24.60 or however much it was. I hope that didn't sound bad, but that, that's just how I feel, I'm just being honest. Well, hopefully I will have another video soon talking about my Vivid Rose palette because I definitely still want it and I think it's a beautiful palette and I would love to have it to go with my Vintage Rose palette. I think that, um, they look so gorgeous together. I mean, physically, and I think on the eye, they look great. Yeah, that's those are my final thoughts. I'm not sure what else, how else to describe it. <laughs> that's it for Christmas Day 15. I wish I had a little bit more, but y'all see what happened. And the way my mail is going, I don't know when the replacement will show up, but that's okay, because I got another video coming tomorrow. So thank you guys for taking out some of your time and giving it to me. Thank you all for just making my first little Vlogmas really fun. And um, I'm just really thankful. So make sure you are being gentle with yourself. Talk to yourself nice, stay safe, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye.